All right, are you ready for the sequel three months in the making that I should have done a long time ago and I'm doing now? It is the evil team theme tier list. There's way too many T's in that sentence, but we're gonna listen to some of the evil themes and we're gonna rate them from good to very, 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 very not good. How are we gonna start with? Well, we have Getsis here. I believe this is, oh, there's two Getsis. How are we gonna judge which Getsis we're talking about? Actually, Wait a minute. Okay, so this gets us here. Oh, wait a minute. It's gets us from like awesome, isn't it? Because they have a different theme. Gets us right. The first one. The first one. Let's listen to this. Here we go. Ooh, drums. Ooh, drums. Reminds me of Aussie's theme, actually. This is so much like Arceus's theme. Is it is it just drums? Is it, does it like hit a point where it's like, yeah, this is the different, this is the, the main, the main part of the song now. It's very slow. It has to pick up at some point, right? Oh, wait, oh, oh. Hmm. See what I'm looking for here in an evil team theme is something that gives you anxiety. Something that makes you square up and say, hey, I gotta be serious about this one. And it never really hits a stride. It's fine. I would say, yeah, it's fine. Like, it's it's okay. I would say, yeah, it's it's fine. As an evil team theme, it's it's fine. It's okay. It never really hits like a super stride. It's it, the drums are nice. It does remind me a lot of Arceus. It does give you that like it does fit well as an evil team leader theme. I feel like, but at the same time, like if it, if it had like some drop or it like really goes hard at some point, that, that I feel like I'd appreciate that a lot more. Let's try black and white two theme. Did I not get to the good part? All right, if I, literally, okay, okay. If the good part takes so, we, we are over a minute and 20 seconds into this. If the good part hasn't happened yet. Is that supposed to be the good part? That's the good part, really. That's what you guys are saying the good part was. It just sounds like they're saying Dennis. Dennis! Dennis! Yeah, I'm just, no, I just, I'm sorry. I just, not. Uh, it, it, it remains in C. It remains in C, guys. I was only gonna give each theme like a minute to make sure that we like, you know, keep things snappy, but if things take that long to really kick in, then. All right, this is black and white two gets this. I could like show you guys actually. You can go ahead and zoom in. There we go. I do like this one, I will say. Dennis, 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 Dennis. All I can hear is D, is D for Dennis. Okay, okay, I, I I will say this is, this is better. This is definitely better than the first one. The fact that I cannot get Dennis out of my head now, oh my, I can't take this seriously anymore. It just sounds like they're saying, Dennis, 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 
I'll put it up to I'll put it up to B. Right there, I think it deserves to be in B, but I, I don't think it goes any higher than that, to be completely honest. All right, let's try the Ultra Sun and Moon Getsis theme. Let's try and give Getsis, you have one more shot here, buddy. Try your absolute best. Give me your best, Getsis. All right, very similar, very similar. Mm, okay. It's going, it's, it's going hard on the drums. Ooh, what's that? Does this one have Dennis in it as well? I hope this one has Dennis in it too. I hope so. Please tell me this one has Dennis. Hashtag Dennis. Ooh, I I I I I, I do like this. D for no Dennis. I'm waiting for the Dennis to pop in now. I love how they work in like the theme, the theme of like Ultra Sun and Moon into these evil team leader themes. I think it's really like amazing how they've managed to get the the Ultra Sun and Moon vibe into the previous themes. It's so cool. Rainbow Rock is definitely the best part of Ultra Sun and Moon. Apart from Ultra Necrozma's theme. Ultra Necrozma's theme is so good. Ooh, these drums. These drums, though. I don't know. Wait, is that it? That's the end. Okay, if that's the end... Hmm. I See, I do... I, I rate that like slightly higher than than Black and White 2 gets us. So the highest gets us is gonna go is like a solid high B right there. I feel like that. How dare you say no, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not like I'm not gonna acknowledge anyone saying the Ultra Necrosmos theme sucks. You're wrong. You're literally wrong. Vacate, okay? Vacate. You're literally wrong. But that's all I'm gonna say about that. I'm moving on to the next subject now. Don't get me started. Let's go into chorus. Chorus is theme next. Alright, black and white two. Wait, 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 wait. Does Colrus have a theme from the original Black and White? I don't think he does. No, he's a Black and White 2 character. He, he's not in the original Black and White. Okay, let's go. I, li I do like Colrus' theme, though. Even though Colrus isn't, like, really an evil character, Oh man, this theme is good. Bro, this is good. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I really like this. This is good. Yeah, I like this part the best, this part. That's solid. That's all. I don't need. I don't need any more time than that to decide on that. That is a solid. I'm. I'm I obviously like what you should do with the tier list is I used to um, decide on my like favorite and put that one into S tier above everything else at the end. But that's a solid A right there. That is a solid A. I'm a big fan of that one. Very, very much a big fan of that one. All right. So N theme. Let's go. N actually has. Does N only have one theme? I think he only has. Oh, but okay, okay. We can't talk about N's theme without talking about. This isn't his theme, but like, I just wanted to listen to this for a second. Get ready to cry, chat. Everyone should be crying right now. Everybody should be crying right now. If you're not crying, you have no soul and no heart and, and no emotions whatsoever. <laughs> this, oh, I love that, dude, I love that theme. I, that is like the perfect sad song, you know? It is literally the perfect sad song. All right, so black and white final battle for N music. Let's see what we got here. Okay. 
Solid start. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm down with this. Hmm. Gives that sense of urgency. Definitely, definitely feeling the urgency there. I'm waiting for it to hit, like, the next part. God, it has, like, a heartbeat in it as well. Oh, no, this bit's good. I really like this one, man. I really like this. This is solid. Oh, it's still building! Ah, I... All right. All right, I feel that that's that's that all I can say is that's really good. It, it like builds up for so long and then when it actually like the payoff for the build up is is definitely there. I really like that. I'm I'm a big fan of that. It's going to go into A as well. Hello Majuju and and Maddie if you just gifted a sub to Majuju. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Yeah, that that is absolutely fantastic. I I really like that theme. That that deserves a solid. Yeah, that's a solid A right there. Definitely a solid A. Okay, so next up we have our cell what is the next theme? We're going to go with Cyrus. Cyrus from, yeah, we'll go, we'll go with Cyrus and we'll see what that one's like. Okay, so from Diamond and Pearl Platinum, let's listen to this one. See, I always felt like the Diamond and Pearl Platinum soundtrack wasn't really like up to scratch, even though it's my favorite generation. This is, this is, this is, this is meh, honestly. This is the one I always forget about. This is incredibly forgettable. I'm sorry, Mon Cat. I, I, I don't think this is that great. I'm gonna say that's a, yeah, it's, it, it, I think this is an incredibly forgettable theme, to be honest. I, I it's, it's just, it's. I mean, it's fine. Like, I feel like Cyrus deserves a lot better than that, to be honest. I really do. Cyrus does deserve a lot better. In fact, we can go on to Cyrus's Ultra Sun and Moon theme and kind of compare that to see how it's improved since then. So let's have a look. Let's see. Did Cyrus improve in Ultra Sun and Moon? Let's see. Wow, this is not an intro that I expected. Whoa, this is... I was gonna say, that's so different. Ooh, okay. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, man. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. I'm down with that. The drums hit so much harder, like. Yeah, they made that way better. Woo! This is so much better.
That is definitely a lot better. I'm trying to, I want to sit here and like listen to what else they changed. God, they literally just made it about 10 times better, didn't it? Then they, they, they really did. Okay, all right, all right. I've decided on this one. This is definitely a lot better than his original theme. Way better. Uh, I can't decide whether I want it to be like high B or low A though. I'm not really sure. I almost want to make like a, a, a tier in between A and B. And hold on, hold on, actually. Let me just go ahead and uh, there we go. And perfect. <laughs> that is absolutely fantastic. That is exactly where I wanted that to be. All right, absolutely fantastic. <laughs> All right, so now that we've done that, we can move on to some of the third generation ones. So let's go on with Maxi's. Maxi theme from Ruby. I want to I want to hear the original Ruby theme first. Oh, wait. Wait, I remember I remember my opinions about this. Your opinion sucks, dude Lavender Town. Walking Pokedex, shut up. Yeah, I always remember this one being meh. You know, this just... This just makes me crave for the Oras remix. I mean, this spot's pretty good. This spot's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, this is like, that. this, I don't think, I really don't think that's bad by any means. And I mean, C is average, right? C is like, C is not a bad song. And I don't even think that we'd get many bad songs here, to be honest. But I think that it's just, it's it's fine, right? You know, like, it, it's fine. It's it's all right. Uh, so we go to the Oras one and, and, and change up. So we, we went ahead and we, we threw it into C. I think C, is, C makes sense for this. But if we go into the Oras one... And we just, we just give it a second. Literally just wait like five seconds. Okay, wait five seconds. Here we go. Oh, so much better. I love that intro bit. I love it. And this bit is like, I, I love how they made it go so much harder on this one, so much better. The intro is the biggest change and it needed it, it really, and they went harder on that part that went past just there. It improved it so much, it really did. And this bit as well. It goes so much harder and I love it. All right, I feel like that is, I don't know if I'd rate that like highly in A or if it's like mid A, but I feel like that deserves to, it, it deserves to kind of sit in the A slot there. Certainly deserves to. There were things they couldn't do in the 8-bit era. Yeah, but to be fair, at the same time, like there are themes from the original Gold and Silver games and the original Red and Blue games that are way better than Ruby and Sapphire's theme, so. And that was even further in the past, you know? So, okay. And, and now I'm actually curious to see how the Ultra Sun Moon one stacks up to that. I wonder if they have, like, the same... Ooh, okay. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna give this one a listen. Ooh, this is different.
Okay, this spot's kind of nice. This spot's kind of nice. Yeah, I guess for some... For, for some of the themes, making it Ultra Sun and Moonified doesn't make it better. I mean, it's not, it's okay. It, it, it's not, it's not awful, right? It's not the worst thing in the world, but it's definitely not great. So uh, we're just going to throw that in to see. Yeah, I wasn't, no, I wasn't a huge fan of that one. That, yeah, they, they messed that one up. Definitely messed that one up. The Oras theme reigns supreme when it comes to, to Maxi. I was even contemplating just throwing it in there. There were like some saving graces that I, if I, if it didn't have like certain moments in that song, it was going to be easy D tier. I was just going to throw that thing in the bin and just they forget about it, you know, never look at it again kind of thing. But uh, I don't know, man. Is anyone going to get into D? Well, thing is like D is for bad songs. I haven't heard like a legitimately bad, bad song yet like even if it, i didn't like that one it still it wasn't awful you know it was it was all right at certain points it wasn't like a completely bad song it had had some saving graces uh, if it didn't have that it was this is very close to being in d very close to being in d but okay, let's uh, let's go ahead and figure out uh, Lysander. Let's get Lysander's theme up here. We got ourselves. Uh, oh, that's the last one that we're go we're going right to the end here so team flare boss music moments, right? It has like the chorus there, the Okay, okay. That's I mean it's it's all right. I'd give it like a high C, I think. If I was going to say like I'm I'm going to I'm going to boost it along to like a high C. It's it's got some catchy moments. It's not awful. I really thought I was going to dislike that going into that, but I, I, it's it's okay, you know. It's it's fine. I I don't really have anything else to say about it. It's it's really not memorable either. That's the thing. It's just like, it's just kind of there. You listen to it in the moment and you're like, yeah, okay, fine. And, and you don't really like, you don't get excited for the battle listening to that, right? You you don't you don't get excited going like, oh boy, here comes the theme. No, it's, it's just there. And Lysander is one of those villains that you don't really get excited to battle Lysander. He's just kind of there because he needs to and then he blows himself up. Like the, the whole vibe of Lysander is that he's just kind of there and then he gets blown up. So, you know, whatever, I guess. Let's see. Let's see if Ultra Sun and Moon can save Lysander. Can, can Ultra Sun and Moon save Lysander here? Oh, this sounds a lot more devilish. Immediately, right off the bat. Okay. I, I always appreciate a song that goes a little bit harder. Oh, oh yeah, I appreciate it. Mm, yeah. I always like a song that goes a little bit harder. Wait, wait, here it comes. Yeah, that's a lot better. That is a lot better. An improvement was made. They saved Lysander. Ultra Sun and Moon saved Lysander. Easy. Hmm. 
Ah, I love a theme that can make me smile. I really do. And that, that, that's a theme that makes me smile. That, that is a theme that goes so much harder and I really appreciate it when they go harder because it's an evil team boss. It's, it's, it's one of those moments. It's like one of those very few moments in the game where you're, 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 you're in the most danger. Like even when you fight the elite four and the champion, like th there's no risk of death there. Th that, but the only time you're really in a tangible danger in Pokemon games is when you fight the evil team bosses. And I feel like the themes have to reflect that. The themes have to be like, oh shit, watch out, better not die kind of thing, and I, I I feel like that is a, a lot better. A lot, I'm gonna throw that an A. I think that that's a lot better, honestly. I'm, I, I think that's an A. I, I, I think it's a massive improvement. I did see someone say, why isn't Giovanni's red and blue theme in this? And that's because Giovanni doesn't have a red and blue theme, I don't think. Giovanni theme, red, blue. Let's see, I'm, I'm pretty sure he doesn't even have, no, he doesn't even have a theme. Uh, that's why Giovanni literally doesn't have a theme in red and blue. Does he have a theme in fire red though? I'm pretty sure he doesn't even have like a, no, he does not have a special theme in fire red either. So Giovanni got super cucked, super duper cucked, but I will say that we can listen to Giovanni's Ultra Sun and Moon theme and we can kind of see if that makes up for the fact that he got super duper cucked. Uh, for 20 years beforehand. Oh, I like the 8-bit the intro. Very nice, very nice, very nice. 8-bit intro is nice. I really like how they worked in the... So I, I know I'm not speaking much. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to like take in the song. I like how they worked in the kind of like the original Team Rocket theme into this. I do feel like it is a little bit slow for my taste. It does go pretty hard and I can appreciate that. And it does feel like pretty epic, like like a, a, an epic battle is taking place. But it is, it's a little bit too slow, I think. Uh, it's just... Uh... Now, uh, see, I'm more of a fan of themes that, like, amp you up, you know? I, I love themes that amp you up and, 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 and you know, the emotions run high. And, but this is kind of like slow, it's like slow and methodical which I guess Giovanni is, it relates to him pretty well. It's like, it is slow and methodical, that makes sense. It, it does have, it goes pretty hard, kinda, a little bit. But apart from that, I mean, from my personal opinion, it's just like, I say like it's a high C. I, I, I don't think it's that amazing. I, I, maybe like a B, um, I'm trying to decide, C or a B, I'm not, I'm not really sure, actually. Yeah, I, okay, I, f I feel like it's fair to leave it in a B there. I do feel like it's fair, because I, I, it's, it's, it's fine, you know? It's okay. It's better than the ones that we've left in C tier. It's not quite as good as Getsis's, and that's not really, you know, Getsis's is fine as well, but I, I'm fine leaving it in there. All right, and we do have, we have Guzma, and we have Lusamine, and we have the Ultra Recon Squad. The reason we have the Ultra Recon Squad here, I think, is even though they're not particularly, like, evil teams and antagonists, they do function as kind of like an antagonist towards you for a lot of the game, so I'm fine with them being here. We will give them a listen because, you know, it's nice... I, I, you know, extra content, extra content. It's fine as well. We're, we're not gonna do Guzma just yet. We'll do the Ultra Recon Squad right now. Oh, this sounds like an Ultra Sun and Moon theme. Jesus Christ, this is, this is very much Ultra Sun and Moon. Yeah, 
Yeah, very, very alien. Very technical. They kicked the shit out of my Pokemon with a boy bowl. <laughs> This is like, if there was one song to describe Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon, this would be it, right? I do like this bit though. This bit's nice. Like this song is the theme of Ultra Sun and Moon. Ultra, Ultra Necrozma is the best one, but this, like, links with the themes of the game so perfectly. I do like it. I, I don't feel like it's amazing. Uh, it's it's perfect for the game that it's in. Don't get me wrong. It's definitely perfect for the game that's in. I, I'll, I'll put it in. I, I'm, I'm fine putting it in B. I think it deserves a B. I don't think it deserves to be in the A slot. Uh, Cyrus is just kind of chilling there, like a little bit in between. Cyrus is pretty lonely. F's in chat for Cyrus, boys. I think it's B. I think it's like a high B. I, it, it's pretty good. I, I like listening to it. It's fun to listen to. It is fun to listen to. I will say that. Okay, and now we're going to go Lusamine. Here we go. Which Lusamine? Lusamine theme? Oh, there's two, isn't there? There's the Mother Beast one and the normal one. Oh, oh man, I need I need two Lusamines. I need I need another Lusamine. Um, oh man, which one? Which one are we gonna do? I mean, I, I guess I'm gonna have to do two. Get a, or duplicate them. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't do anything to this. Like this has already been created. I can't do anything to it. So we're just gonna have to. I'm just gonna have to tell you where I'd put it. Actually, let's just slide on. Let's let's listen to them both. Let's listen to them both and see. I'll listen to them both, and then I'll just rate it on where I think the highest one would go. Okay, I like this intro. Is it just me or does this like slightly sound like it's some kind of like heavenly chorus choir type of vibe, you know? Like when you look at her character, her character is like holier than thou. And 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 you know, I am I am correct. You are beneath me kind of thing. And I feel like this theme really reflects that. Even like right down to her design, like the like the just looks like how you would design an angelic character. It's literally her thing. Yeah, it's literally her thing, I guess. Good good job pointing out the the obvious, Daniel. Well done. Yeah, this is exactly how I picture a theme for like, oh yeah, holier than thou, I am the best, I know what is right, I am the angel above all. I feel like oh, that fits so well. It really does. Okay, so we've listened to that one. I'm also gonna listen to the the Mother Beast. I, I'm really curious to see how this has changed. Let, let's see, because now now she's corrupted, right? Now that she's corrupted, like how does the how does it change? Cor corrupted by Nihiligo, even though Nihiligo is not an inherently bad creature. See, now you add the now you add the kind of spaciness. You get that ultra space in there. It's a parasite, I guess. I guess so. It's not an inherently bad creature, though. Actually, it's totally different. I think I like the first one more. When do they, when do they, when does it like hit the hard part?
Hmm. No, see, I had really high expectations for this. I thought this was going to be a lot better, but I think I prefer the original one. Because if you think that l the Mother Beast Lusamine is supposed to be like the upgraded version of Lusamine, like the corrupted version, the, the fusion with the Naheligo, you, you kind of think it would be more un- I mean, it is kind of unnerving. You think it'd be more un- I, I, I don't know. I, was, I was picturing like, you know, like Fallen Angel, like it me trying to meld the, the heavenly choir vibe from the first one with like the, the creeping ultra space vibe that they have in some of the other ultra sun and moon evil team themes that, that does go pretty hard. And this one's just kind of like, ooh, 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 And it's like, ah, mm, no, not quite that. I do prefer the original. In terms of the original though, I, I think I put that as, I, I'm gonna put that as a low A. I feel like the original deserves like a low A, honestly. If I was gonna rate the Mother Beast one, I'd probably put that C. It's got quite a bit left. Does it really, does it have, does, does it really, does, does it like build up to anything? And does it, does it, does it end up going anywhere? I'm just not feeling it. It had like four minutes. Oh, no, 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 it repeats. It repeats back on it. The video is just five minutes long. It, it, it does repeat. All right, let's go, Guzma. It's time for my, it's time for your boy, Guzma. Let's see what Guzma's got for us. Oh my God. My ears. Oh, yeah, dude. That's good. Uh, uh. Yeah, this, this theme fits perfectly with the character, which is like the first point that it, the theme needs to fit the character. I do like this. This, this, I feel like this theme would also fit really well in Sword and Shield. I feel like this is the kind of theme that Team Yell should have. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I like it, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm a fan of that. I am a fan of that. Okay, before we finish up, is there any other evil team themes? Actually, hold on. Let me get um final. Wait, what's what's the what's the Colosseum and XD one? I think like that's a that's a solid A tier right there. Solid A tier. Ultra no, Ultra Crosma is not an evil team. Cipher. What's the what's the guy's name from Cipher? Cipher. Cipher admin theme. Uh, syndicate. Cipher final boss. Not Mirror B. Final battle from Colosseum. Hold on, I want to listen to this one. I've always loved Colosseum's themes. Yeah, this doesn't sound like an evil boss theme, does it? This is the final battle music, though. Rate Mirror B anyway. Mirror B is solid S tier. You already know that Mirror B would be S tier. Let's try Greeble. Because I feel like Grievel would have like the proper Grievel final battle music. Okay, here we go. Maybe this, maybe they just dropped the ball on like the final battle themes. At least the sounds. Woo! Okay, wait a minute. Hmm. 
it doesn't. It, yeah, it got it got happy. Uh, it got happy. Why did it get happy? Oh man, I, I'm so conflicted because I love that theme, but it's just so not fitting for a final boss with Grievel. Uh, I don't think Shadow Lugia is, is any different. I think that's the same, actually. Actually, maybe it's not. Is it? Oh? This is Shadow Lugia's, apparently. Sounds like Jaws theme. Hold on. Okay. I'm not a huge fan of this. I like I really like the Hello Christian But yes okay to uh tie things up here I think that the best theme here is probably chorus I think chorus is my favorite one from that one It's it's a very close one I do think that chorus is the best though I'm a I'm a big fan of that one I'm a big fan of that one indeed There you go That is as a wrap up my the absolutely correct tier list on the evil team themes. If you disagree, you are incorrect, you are wrong, and you need to fix your opinions. That's obviously a joke. Don't take it too seriously. And if you do, find something better to do with your time. Thank you for listening to me. <laughs> Thank you so much to our Twitch subs and YouTube members of the day. Remember, if you are a YouTube member or a Twitch subscriber, that both gives you access to the sub Discord. And I appreciate you supporting the channel. Thank you so much, guys.